The centrality of Eretz Yisrael in Jewish life over all of the millennia is unquestioned. That wherever Jews were, and in whatever countries they lived, Eretz Yisrael always played a role in their lives. The difference in our time is that individuals can exercise the ability to live in Eretz Yisrael in a fashion that was not pertinent or even obtainable uh, until uh, this past 50, 60, 70, 80 years. And that therefore it becomes not only a national issue, but it becomes an individual issue as well. And an individual issue requires that a person has thoughts, has motives, has a perspective, and not just to do something out of fear or out of haste, but to behave in a spiritually rational way. Where can a person find fulfillment for himself or herself. Where is the best place for that? Well, it depends on what we call fulfillment. Uh, fulfillment can be in material means, but that's like drinking salt water. You've never fulfilled physically. Whatever house you have, there's a better house. Whatever car you have, there's a better car. There's no end to it. But spiritual fulfillment is of a different nature. It's a self-satisfaction. It's the realization that I have a mission in life and that somehow I am completing the mission. I'm working towards completion of the mission. Eretz Yisrael is a mission. It's not a place. It's not a locality. It's not even a Medina, a country. It's a mission. And a person has to feel oneself as part of that mission. I can help fulfill my mission by fulfilling the mission of Eretz Israel. So Eretz Israel is Torah. There's never been as much Torah as there is today even though there are other things. And Eretz Yisrael is perspective. It depends what you want to look at. It's half full and half not empty. But it's perspective. And it also is tradition and history. I can do what my great-grandparents would have walked across Europe in the snow barefoot to do. And I can do it. No, it's not without sacrifice. It's not without uh, adjustment. No one said it would be easy. Eretz Yisrael brings out the toughness in us. Eretz Asher Avoneo Barzel. It's an iron country. But the sense of mission, of accomplishment, just the fact that every day I walk and the same footsteps as the Novi Yeshayo, I mean, that's enough to carry a person through life. A person then has a broad perspective. He then sees himself or herself in eternity, not just in terms of temporary problems. So when we think of Eretz Israel for ourselves, we think about making Aliyah, we naturally have to go through all the nitty-gritty. We have to be concerned with all the physical aspects of it. But somewhere deep in our soul, and especially in our psyche, we have to realize what we are doing. We are participating in the greatest mission that the Lord has given our generation. We are rebuilding the Jewish people. We're rebuilding the Jewish land. And we are an integral part of the fulfillment of that mission. 
and that alone should give us satisfaction and pleasure far beyond any material gains that a person may achieve for oneself. So I can only tell you from my experience, I'm much more of a Jew here than I was in Muncie. Not because I observe more, yeah, not because in Muncie I couldn't learn Torah more, but because I'm here, I'm part of the eternal mission. And that carries a person through many vicissitudes and difficulties in life. So everyone should stay well, and I hope to meet you on the streets of Jerusalem.